dear friends in Christ, welcome to our daily reflection for the 25th of October and Wednesday of the 29th week in the ordinary time. Everyone tries to take advantage of the opportunities that life presents. Where there is such an opportunity, people of great vision invest as much as they can afford in the hope that it will yield bountifully in return. No one deliberately invests much in terms of efforts and resources into a venture he knows will not yield anything. In spiritual matters as well, we invest in God knowing that the time spent in the service of God and the community is not a waste. It contributes to our salvation. In our first reading today, taken from the letter to the Romans chapter 6, verses 12 to 18, Paul encourages his listeners to shun the way of sin. Let not sin reign in your mortal bodies to make you obey their passions. In sin, the greatest qualities of man are turned into weapons of destruction. His intelligence and mind devises new ways to sin. His energy is deployed into doing what is wrong. His richest emotions, which will lead him to God, are used as covering to hide, while his memory and physical nature are not left out. By this, the sinner turns away from the giver of these good things and turns toward evil. His fall brings shame and nakedness. Paul says, do not become slaves of sin, but that of righteousness. In yesterday's passage, Jesus used the example of servants to teach the disciples on the necessity of an active wait for his coming. In today's gospel, taken from Luke chapter 12, verses 39 to 48, he uses the parable of the householder who will not go to sleep when he knows burglars are coming to drive home the same point. Jesus by this encourages his disciples to put to work the gifts and talents that has been entrusted to them. They are guardians of the much that has been given to them in the faith they have received. How are you participating in the mission of Christ? Wake up from your slumber and get to work for Christ. If you think you do not know enough of your faith, then go out and learn more. That's what people do on their jobs, constantly seeking new ways to get better at what they do. God has given you all the experiences needed to see what you can make out of each one of them. Like Peter, we may ask too, Lord, are you telling this parable for us or for all? It is for the faithful and wise steward. If that is what you are, you really need to pay attention. Those who know what is right and refuse to do it will be severely punished. Everyone to whom much is given, of him will much be required. And of him to whom men commit much, they will demand the more. The greater the office, the opportunities, the graces given to you, the greater the responsibility. Let us pray. Lord God, make us ready to welcome you in our lives, in joy and in sorrow. Give us the strength to use our gifts for the glory of your name and the good of all. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.